In this video, I'm going to show you just how easy it is to import your goals that you've set up in Google Analytics into your Google Ad account as your form of conversion tracking. I'm going to walk you through step by step the exact process that you need to do and you'll be up and running in no time because it's super easy to do. If this is your first time to my channel, hi, my name's Alana. Welcome to the Teach Traffic YouTube channel, the channel where we share all things paid traffic tips, strategies, step-by-step -step walkthroughs. So if you like this video, be sure to hit the thumbs up icon and also subscribe so you never miss an episode. Okay, so as promised, we're going to walk you through how to import your goals from analytics into Google Ads the right way so that that will be your form of conversion tracking. Before I show you how to do it, I'm going to assume that A, you've already got a Google Analytics account set up. B, you've already actually created your goals in analytics. And I've got another video on exactly how you create those goals. And we'll put a link to it in the description. And number three, I'm going to assume that you've already created your Google ad account. Okay. So here I am in a Google ad account where I have conversion tracking uh, set up multiple. This is sort of our dummy account, essentially. How you get to this particular part of your Google ad account, you go to tools and settings and go to conversions and you will land on a page like this. Now, obviously, if you've never set up conversion tracking before, you won't have any of these conversion action items like I've got on my screen. You'll just have nothing essentially. And so uh, we're going to walk you through how to do this. So we're going to go into our Google Analytics account. Okay, and I've gone to the admin section down here and in the view panel here, you'll see account property and view. Uh, we go to the goals section. So I've gone to the extra step of having set up my goals in analytics. So what you want to do is have a look in your goals and decide which of these particular goals you're going to be importing into your Google ad account. Okay, so the naming convention. So uh, we just sort of keep that there. And we go back to our Google ad account. And what we're going to go to do is we're going to hit this plus button plus conversion. And here it's going to give us the different forms of conversion tracking that we can set up. We've got website, app, phone calls and import. So obviously we're going to import from and these are the different sources that we can import goals. OK, so obviously we're going to import our goal or our conversion from Google Analytics and we hit continue. And then this is going to bring up the goals for all the different properties that I have. So if I go back to analytics, you'll see if you've got more than one property, like I do, if I click on this drop down menu, this will bring up all the different properties within my one Google ad account. And so it's, um, it, it's brought up all my different properties. So I need to choose from the teach traffic property. Um, and the one I want to choose is, let's just pick one of them. Doesn't really matter. Um, we will pick, uh, contact us. Okay. Contact us. And that's obviously somebody filling in a contact form and we hit import and continue. And really that's actually just how easy it is to import our goals. And then we hit done and we can then see uh, the source is uh, Google Analytics and that's our contact form. And actually that's the one we just did now, which is, so it's duplicated it, obviously this is this test account. Okay, so that's how easy it is to import your, your goals from analytics into Google ads. And uh, definitely, um, you know, some people might be wondering why, what's the difference? Why would I um, set up conversion tracking natively within the Google ad platform versus within Google analytics and then pushing it through? The difference is usually a bit of a time lag and some people just like to have an extra level of insurance if perhaps the Google Analytics tag for some reason gets deleted. You've still got um, you know conversion tracking set up within the Google ad interface, but really it doesn't matter. Okay, so there you have it. That's how easy it is to do. And uh, yeah, stay tuned for future videos.